video I will talk about the, the process that we are in, the cycle that we are in, or the end of the cycle. This is the main purpose why I came here at this time in space. And I've spoken a lot about this in my Swedish channel, but not so much in English. And I was going to say I, I apologize for that. I will from now on be very frequent in my English videos and I will catch up with the material that I have talked about in my Swedish channel. And I will be just as updated on my English channel now as my Swedish channel. Because where we are now, a lot of things are going to happen very fast as you probably already noticed. So let me take it from the very first beginning so you'll understand in where we are in the process and what you can expect. It will be kind of a lot of information out, but I need to catch up on my English channel. So I hope you find it interesting. When I decided to come here, I was presented to this place. I saw there would be a great transformation so that the beings that were in this place, I can't really say planet, because I, as I already explained, I know you don't travel on top of a physical planet, you actually go down to a specific dimension. Lose consciousness like uh, uh, waking up to a specific dimension. And the beings were kind of stuck in that dimension, not specific on any concrete planet, but they were stuck in a certain dimension, asleep if you so will, and they would go through a great transformation and kind of wake up while being alive, so to speak, physically alive, but yet asleep. And they would wake up a great transformation. And this was such a rare occurrence that it was kind of like a popcorn event, very special event. And I felt the energy. I felt how great it would feel to help them transition through this. And I said, yes, I want to go. And I also saw at the same time that the calling went out to a lot of places, not only in this nearby universe, but in a lot of places far, far out to come and help in this process. So there are so many different beings here. I sometimes say if everyone looked like their former selves, it would be like the Star Wars cafe down here. So if you feel very weird here, or if you know people you think are very weird, it's probably because they are weird if you compare them to the norm. Because if you are one of the only, only people from, from your specific place, you will feel pretty much out of place here. So when I came here, uh, I, I, I was aware, uh, I didn't forget anything. I actually remembered. So I was conscious all the time. I came down here. I know I would respond weirdly to this place because it's always like that. It's always a challenge to take on an assignment because you never know quite where you're going to end up. You know how it's going to feel. And that's kind of what we roll with because you are not the physical place that you come down to, so to speak. It's yet you are here with your conscious and then you adapt to a form and you live. So you, you are not like this physical form. I'm sure you all know this in theory, but nevertheless, I need to explain it and say it. And I tried to adjust, as I said, and it took a while because it took some years, time. What the hell is that? Was my response. And I wanted things to appear immediately because I know what's going to, I know what I came here to do. Let's do it immediately. No, no, you're here. You can't have your tools. No, there will be no teammates. You just have to be like everyone else. And your job is to help people connect back to themselves. That's your job. And I just wanted to fix everything. As I'm sure many of you came with this great aspiration. This will go quick. I'm great at this. And then you come down here. You feel lonely, depressed, and it feels hopeless because it feels so big and so vast. Only because you go down in dimension. And when we do that, not connected to the rest of the universe, we feel kind of handicapped. But we are going to expand and be in contact with the universe again. So here, limited all of that. As soon as I could record, like remember things in the physical brain here, they explain what was going to happen. So I could see the, the cycle, I could understand it. Because I wondered if we're going to fix it now. And then they said it will be a transition. And when it really starts, you're going to see the outside becoming darker and darker and darker. And the game of the year when you are 27, you will see how it starts. And that was around 2010. And yeah, 
<laughs> I was out of count. Yeah, it was. And you're really going to start seeing the outside getting darker and darker until it's completely dark on the outside. But at the same time, within, light's going to start emerging and it's going to grow exponentially at the same time it's becoming darker. Your light from within is getting brighter and brighter until there's only going to be light. So when the outside is completely dark, then the cycle is over and it's going to be only light. And then comes the rebuilding phase where humans are not longer, longer limited by their own blockages inside, but they can start creating the world that represents who they are. And that was another question I asked when I came down here. So what we're going to help them with, are we going to defeat monsters? Are we going to help them with hunger and war and everything else I see? No, that's just a natural result of their own imbalance. Because that's the relationship they now have with themselves and that relationship is manifesting as war and famine and all of that. So by helping humanity connect back to themselves, they're going to create this beautiful world again. They're going to be themselves again and they're going to live in themselves again, so to speak. So I always knew this process was going to happen. I always kind of wonder how it was going to feel. Because when I came down here, I felt it was a nightmare state. I didn't feel it was a real place. I feel we were lost in the fog. <laughs> and when people went to sleep at night, I just traveled back. And was myself, and then I got back to this place. Oh, felt very limited every time I woke up, having to work from this space. As I'm sure many of you have felt as well. Limitations, and that's not an Im imagination or anything, it's very real. So, when we are now coming to the end part of the cycle, and it was in 2020 that they told me that, congratulations, Susan, now <laughs> it's the last step. And it's like, if we have been approaching the end of the cycle for some time now, this they showed me was the last like footstep to end the cycle. And 2020 they said there will be no turning back now, this is the last step. And they told me that this 2020 would be a retreat here. And very well it became a retreat here, wasn't it? Like so many people couldn't go to their work as usual. You kind of had to stay inside and think about your life, what's the purpose of everything. And that was actually the year where many people woke up. What am I doing? This is insane. What the hell is the outside doing to me? What, what is this? What have I been living under? Oh my God, it's a, it's a tyranny. What, what, what is this? Yeah, great. <laughs> you are discovering your own blockages. Because I've been t talking about this a lot. We want to chase a bad guy on the outside. It's funny how no one uh, ever managed to pin a bad guy down. Like there is, is it that person? No, it's probably not a solely, solely like one person dictating all of this. And, and no human being could ever dictate something like this because they don't live long enough to do that. Uh, not want to have too much prejudice on how long people live here, but it's far too short to ever advance in such a crazy long spanning agenda where you somehow become a master manipulator of so many people to dictate everything you do. And then some people say, yeah, but like destructive cults, they do the same, don't they? They manage. Yeah, but this is where it also becomes weird because all destructive cults do this, exactly the same thing. And I, I don't think that they gather in some kind of yearly conference. So how are you going to run your sect or destructive cult or whatever we call them? How are you going to do that? Yeah, that seems like a really good idea. I'm going to do exactly the same. No, they probably don't conspire together. It's just that every time a great ego person, um, the reversed uh, picture of God, is manifesting himself as this, this uh, guru who is going to lead everyone to salvation. What what's so dark with this destructive cult is that it is a human being and they probably think they are helping, but it is their ego selves who are kidnapping them, so to speak. So instead of being in flow with life, they're gonna end the cycle, they're gonna bring the cycle about. So you hear in this destructive cult, it usually ends up with everyone dying because the, 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 the chief person of the destructive cult, the, the sect leader, is having his own image of the perfect world that we're gonna move into. So they bring about the apocalypse themselves and they choose which people who are elected and go to the next place. So that is where the ego gets involved. Whereas in life, there's no such 
oh, you're gonna go, but not you. There, there's no such thing. That's <laughs> there are no 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 authority up there or anything. If someone happens to believe that's the case, that would be completely illegal. Look out in nature. There are no hierarchies there. If I said that the pine tree should be a leader over those flowers, I would create chaos. So no thank you. This complex system has everything figured out. No authorities involved. It's, it's the relationship and the harmony and the balance. Like if you have music notes in, in a, a great composition, a music classic work and everything is flowing and everything is so beautiful, there is no conflict. There is no, I'm gonna sound higher than you, you're whatever. That, that's, it's not an issue. You don't think of yourself as I have to compete with the other notes in this melody. You are the melody together. It's, 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 this is how the existence is in other places, in other dimensions. This conflict or sense of self, it doesn't even exist. So bear in mind, you leave all of this behind. Imagine the burden if everything in your body had to have an identity and protect itself. Oh, I am having this function and I have to see where the lungs are up to so they don't compete with me. I mean, they would be exhausted and your body would not function. I can guarantee that. It, it would be so exhausting, so stressful, so strange. Why do you believe you have to do that? Why do you believe you have to be in that state? Nevertheless, that's the dream of this place that we are leaving, that we are waking up from. So to take us all back to what I was trying to say, there are no bad guys doing this to you on the outside. And even if you would imagine that, okay, they do have a workshop together, they all plan this on how to manipulate the whole world at the same time in synchronicity. And it's just weirdly how everything comes about, even when some people don't seem to be in it in the beginning, but then they kind of are in it and I don't know, they have some plan, they probably threaten to life or give them enough money and that change and they, they and I'm sorry, I mean, I, I'm not gonna give, especially not a, a person with a dark intent that much intelligence in this physical body because that, that, that just won't happen. And even if, if, if darkness succeeded, then what? <laughs> They're gonna live happily ever after. Finally, we got rid of all human beings. Now we can play chess or have fun and have party. Now we shouldn't have party because why we killed all the people who would, who would like to have fun. Oh, that's, that's too bad. I mean, there's no end game there. there. There's absolutely no purpose with it even. It's not money they want, obviously. They invented the system. So what the heck do they want? What I'm trying to say is, no, there is not people who are the bad guys here. It's, it's what we've done to ourselves. It's what humanity done to themselves. And people don't want to see. It's their own hypocrisy. It's their own judgment towards other people. And because I remember past lives, I can go back and look at my own hypocrisy. And for many lives, I, I was in one team fighting and other people. And of course, we were the good guys and they were the bad guys, right? And then in another life, I was born as the bad guys. And of course, then I thought I was the good guy fighting the bad guys. And everyone was plotting, like, who is the evil that is running this? Yeah, just look at yourself. Because we all believe we've been great. <laughs> so people were calling me their enemy in previous lifetimes. And I never called myself an enemy. I always believed I was good. So after a while, we kind of see the reason for why all of this is happening, for why we are doing this to ourselves. Like I was in one lifetime when I was responsible for the, the protection of the city. Some kind of king or leader even had the troops, the, the cities or whatever, they weren't so big back then. So there were many of these small kingdoms. And there was another kingdom uh, a bit far, far, far out. And we hadn't built relationships with them. So instead we went suspicious towards each other. They are expanding maybe and uh, this doesn't look good eventually they, they, they're gonna attack and I was consumed by this thought eventually they're gonna attack at one uh, sunrise they're just gonna be outside the gates and I'm gonna be too late I won't be able to protect my people so I couldn't wake up every morning <laughs> I was going to say pull off the curtains and look out for this these enemies coming to attack me so I had to attack first and I did attack first and that's the insanity of it we were not enemies 
we didn't know each other, so we were afraid of each other, and we thought the other person was an enemy, so I had to attack first to protect myself. And there are numerous examples of where this happens every day. I could go on about the, the, <laughs> the Russia thing. <laughs> what the hell? And I always try to say that people don't want to fight. Wars are horrible. And no uh, citizen in any country wants to invade another country. You can go to Russia and you can go to the square there and ask a random citizen, Olga, do you want to invade Sweden, for example, my country? I mean, come on. What person would say, I always dreamed about invading a country? I mean, come on. No one thinks like that. So who are we afraid of? What is keeping this system alive? Can you show me this physical component or person? All I see is people complying and doing things that clearly go against themselves. And this is what we try to come down and help people see. Become awake. Which starts by becoming responsible for all your actions. You can no longer go in autopilot and ask yourself why things happen as they do. You have to look at your own response. Because if you are not satisfied and happy with a response that you do at any given moment, it won't get better later. If you go against yourself, for example, in your work today and tomorrow, whatever reasons you give for yourself, I have to do it because my boss says or everyone else is doing it, whatever, it's not going to be better in one week or a month or a year. It's only going to start getting better when you confirm yourself, when you act like yourself for something that you stand for. Only then will things start getting better in your life. When people cross over to the other side, I can't mention this more enough that because they always say this. Why didn't I do that? I felt I was going to do it. Why didn't I do it? Because we all are connected to this. Deep inside we all know what is our genuine response in a given situation. And we can't understand why we didn't follow it when we cross over. That and I, didn't, I don't understand. I was with all these people that we met every day and we did these ridiculous things, but we didn't talk to each other. We could have saved the world. Like, we could have done so much. We didn't do anything. We just, like, turned those papers, <laughs> or whatever you did at work. And you, you don't understand this kind of sleepiness or non-awareness when you go across over to the other side. And you can be awake now. You can just start living it. So what I talk a lot about is getting back to that genuine response because there is where it starts. The first principle of all principles being awake and someone say I want to wake up. Great. You only have to be conscious. So every time you do something you always add right now I'm doing this because I want to do this because that is the truth. The most extreme example, even during torture, you, you decide if you want to talk or not. You're always responsible for everything you do. You don't have to do anything. You choose to do it. You don't have to go to that social convention. Oh, I don't want to go there, but I have to. No, no, no. Tell me the truth. You choose to go there because it matters to you what that social group thinks of you. Their values matter to you. Tell me the truth. And if you don't want to live by these rules anymore, then don't. Then don't say that you have to do something. But be clear with yourself why you choose to do it, why you choose to follow it. You decide. I sometimes give the suggestion that take a sheet of paper and you write down everything you feel you have to do. I have to do this because, and you write the reason. I mean, uh, be overdrive it. I mean, um, Overstate it. That's the English word. No Swedish, English here. Um, overstate it. Like, every time this happens, I go completely angry with this and this. Or every time this happens, I have to do this because they say I have to do this. And you put it on the wall. And you're going to be tired of yourself if you keep doing something that you don't really stand for. And that's how you wake up. Step by step. If you do this step by step, you will eventually, by default, wake up. Because there will be no barrier between you and you. You will only be your genuine self. Which means 
if there is no barrier between you and life, no barrier between you and you, this illusion state is also gone. And that's what we are experiencing right now. And that is what I'm telling people about these years. So now you, English speaking audience, <laughs> you have to catch up. And um, that's why I'm speaking so fast. No, but 2020 <laughs> was a, a retreat year. So many people then got the really, I have to do something else with my life. They got to start thinking differently. So this was a very, very, very important year. Because some people, they experienced despair. Some people, they experienced hope because they saw a chance to wake up. 2021 was the year that they called stepping out of the closet or showing your true colors. And when this told me like this in 2020, I was like, what is that going to be about? And then of course came, came the infamous shot, right? And if it was the same in your countries as it was in Sweden, uh, it was a very, very, almost like a witch hunt. If you haven't taken the shot, you should basically not live, right? It became insane. If I would have told these people like two years ago that, you know, in two years, you're going to hope that your neighbor dies. Like what? In two years, you're going to wish that innocent person to be dead. What? And flash forward. There comes the, the shot, and if you haven't taken it, you should not be alive. And I'm not judging really these people who did this or had this attitude, because I can always go back in my memory, in that life, when I actually attacked a whole city because I was afraid. So they have to die, right? We do these things because we are afraid. And how can we cure fear? By understanding understanding why we are afraid, then we can cure it and we can turn it to something else. Understanding sanity and all the pain that goes with fears will also disappear. And this is real. So 2021, showing the true colors because you could no longer hide behind a curtain or just go like a gray man uh, um, in your workplace or your family and don't speak. I only speak when I have this kind of other spiritual person around me. I, I don't say, I just pretend and talk about other stuff at my workplace or my family. But now it wasn't possible anymore, was it? Now you had to like prove it. <laughs> and it wasn't like an easy confession. Because what if you, for some years ago, had said, I want to say something in my workplace. I believe in uh, UFOs or I believe in past lives. That would have been brave of you because some people might have thought that you were crazy, right? But now it came with a whole other inclination. It, it came with like, what? You're not going to take it? Like, <laughs> and the reason why we didn't want to take it was because we felt that it was against life. That something was very, very fishy with this and it was anti-life. And therefore we said no. And we showed the true colors. No, I'm going to choose life. It's easy as that. And some people, they had to sacrifice both their work and their family, basically their whole old life, just to be true to themselves. And that is what I mean by showing your true colors, stepping out of the closet, demonstrating who you are. And you can't demonstrate who you are if nothing is at stake. So something has to be at stake. And something was at stake and you did it. And every time you confirm yourself, you affirm yourself, you are gradually waking up. So 2021 was a really challenging year. Some people, they experienced separation and fear. And some people, they got a rush that they truly were finding reality. They could see lies. Because when you affirm yourself, the lies becomes even more obvious. Because there were lies even back in the 80s, but it didn't look so bad, did it? Everything was gray, everything was mixed. But in this cycle, when light separates from darkness, it becomes obvious. The more light you, you become, the more the darkness becomes apparent. Like if you have gray color, it's all gray, but it's black and white in the gray. But then you remove the black from the white, like the gray starts to disappear and it becomes two different sides. And that's what happened. 
So more choices, more choices, 2021. And then came 2022, 2022. And that they called the year of synchronicity and flow. They said this would be a year when you're going to experience more flow and synchronicity. It's going to be possible because higher energies will start to come down and emerge with you. But it also means <laughs> where you have blockages, <laughs> the energy is going to hit a fast wall. And if you have decided, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to do this, I'm going to affirm myself what I continued 2021, I'm going to continue doing this now, I'm doing this. That means you're going to take care of your blockages. And you might have been working with yourself all your life. But so far, you've dealt with the easy stuff. It's what you have left. That's the challenging blockages. These are blockages. I was going to say if I compare with a computer, if something breaks in your computer, like, oh, maybe I can fix the speaker. These blockages are the very computer program that your whole computer is programmed with. These blockages is what defines the, the, the playground of your reality. You haven't touched those because here your reality is threatened. And mind you, you, you are paying the, the gatekeepers here that are suppressing us. No, I, I'm not only making this uh, with, with the taxes and stuff, but symbolically speaking, you raised this, this dark agenda and the secret societies. No, I can't wake up. I don't have the knowledge. Is this secret societies that has the knowledge and how will I have access to that? Sorry, can't wake up. I mean, or oh, they are suppressing me. Sorry, can't wake up. <laughs> no, <laughs> you put them there symbolically because you have resistance to wake up. As soon as you raise energies, you can pretty much just walk through everything. You will actually disarm them at the same time. I will speak more about that in the next video that I just recorded in Swedish. So that material I will do it in English as well. So you will have it in your next video. I will explain how that works. So 2022, a lot of clearing blockages. And blockages, they manifest on all planes. It, it could be like a, a, on the mental plane, on the emotional plane, on the physical plane as diseases, but also in your concrete personal uh, life. So you can have a crisis with your work, with your relationship, or a great choice in your life, whatever it means. And the more you can make a decision, I have to make a decision, I have to define myself, still have to affirm myself. I have to choose. I have to choose to let go of this. I have to choose to change my mindset. So the blockages can be like, I have to change my mindset about this, or I have to let go emotionally of this, or I have to make a choice in my life about this. There's how you see where these blockages and challenges occur. And when you clear those, flow and synchronicity will happen. So a lot of people met a lot of new friends 2022. Synchronicity, you meet up and things go fast. So this was a really big hallmark of 2022. And it's still so important to do this work with yourself and you don't have to lock yourself into your room and work with yourself. You can be out amongst people, thank you very much. It's a lonely path in that you have to make your choices alone. No one says you have to be alone. Sometimes when you go this path, you may notice you have nothing in common with your society, so even if you are amongst them, you will be alone, but you never actually physically have to escape everything. Fine if you want peace of mind and concentrate more, but you don't have to be alone. You don't have to go into a, a, a big mountain or become a monk or anything like that. That is kind of the ego again. So mind you, this is the relationship to you and your own tough choices. So be the tough you, be the genuine you, your heart is not afraid. Your heart is saying, let go, let be. Let be you. I will no longer fight with life. I no longer have any quarrels with life. Just a thing like that. Yeah, why would I have any fights with life? Why would I have that? Yeah, but you're thinking about something when I say the sentence. 
we went to this illusion of separation and we attacked each other. We attacked ourselves. There would be no justice with the bad guy getting his true sentence. You have to be the better person you have to love and realize what your love is. Because you, when you can find that inner pearl of love at any person as yourself, then you know what value is and nothing else matters. That will sound like Metallica. But that was 2022. And that paves the way for 2023, which I will talk shortly about here, because in my next video, I will talk about 2023 in a bit more detail, because there are a lot of concepts that needs to be understood to fully grasp what 2023 will be about. Because 2023, that I've spoken to my Swedish audience about, would be about new technology. <laughs> and when they said this already in 2020, I was like, how am I going to explain this? Because new technology is, is not about we're going to have new cool gadgets here. That's going to be fun. Technology is, is more than a physical gadget. It's the ease of doing things. It's how easy it is to do things. And 2023, we will experience it will become easier to do certain things. And you can call it new technology. And technology for humanity is connected to her development. That is, uh, any species are not allowed to have technology that is not in relationship to where they are in their own development. So... <laughs> If, if you can travel to other places here, if you can be more awake, then you don't have to go by car or train or plane. You can go by dimensions and time and time travel or... <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's the same with energy. If you believe that you are a mortal being and you're gonna die and you have to kill to eat. I mean, even if you're a vegetarian, you're gonna take life, right? To consume life. You're not gonna have free energy. But when you know you're immortal and you live as an immortal, you can have free energy. It goes hand in hand. It was always like this. No one is sabotaging. I'm trying to explain. It's, it's us. And <laughs> by being good people, this could all be over. So you're going to notice that with the technology. It's going to go hand in hand with the development. And when the blockages has been cleared, and a lot of stuff has happened in 2022, it's going to pave the way for what can happen in 2023. And there's also going to be, uh, the ships will come down. <laughs> so <laughs> it was easier for me to talk about 2020, 2021 and 2022. 2023, suddenly it becomes science fiction. And that's also the reason why I am more active now. And there are a lot of things I really want to explain. So hopefully get everyone a very comfortable uh, ride <laughs> in the last years that we have now before that actually this is over. And to watch the process, just look on the outside. You're gonna see it become darker and darker. And as I explained, that means that it's gonna be less and less life and it's gonna reflect more and more anti-life. So in the spectra of love and fear, it's gonna be more fear, separation and pain and anti-life. So biological life will go to uh, artificial life. Real food will go to uh, fake food. Um, Life will be born, I don't know, in test tubes. They would be like they are disconnecting biological life from life to create an own artificial smart system, something like that. It will go completely dark. So you can kind of watch this process as it happens and be very, very, very aware that this is not something bad or anything. It's just actually showing you what you are letting go of, what is no longer you. And I usually give this example. if. if if nothing else happened or if some country became free and everyone's woken up said, yeah, great, finally a good country that is not suppressing us, we go there. No one would wake up. Everyone would be comfortable at this level. You will keep your refrigerator and your computer. That's not what we're trying to say. We're trying to help you to wake up from this plane, this illusion, this dream. To begin to talk to each other, talk to yourselves, be in contact with everything. And therefore, it will be demonstrated like this, <laughs> like, like a movie, probably, because the outside now, I guess, seem too insane. I mean, it's like an apocalypse uh, reading the Swedish news. I'm sure it looks everywhere the same. 
after the pandemic it was the war it became the, the rising food prices gas prices um, interest rates like the apocalypse is here and this is the kind of bizarreness we're going to witness on the outside but i'm going to be here with you and explain how we are doing this from inside and here is where the cool stuff really begins so more about that in the next video see you soon again Some